Personally, the Huawei Mate series is one of my most highly anticipated phone releases each year. Starting with the first Mate in 2013 to the Mate 40 Pro in 2020, the Pavlet series of the tech giant always have a world-first or never-before-seen innovation on a commercially released mobile device. However, this trend stopped when Huawei failed to release a Mate last year, 2021. But this year, 2022, the company released the Mate 50 series in China, and recently, the tech giant announced that it is now official for the Philippine market too. Anyway, before we do a roundup of what the Mate 50 Pro has to offer, let's take a look back at the innovations that the Mate series presented through the years. Huawei's very first Mate was announced in 2013 at the CES. Dubbed as the Ascend Mate, it is the world's first 6.1-inch big smartphone with a large 4,100 mAh battery capacity. The Ascend Mate 2 4G announced at CES 2014 also has a similar 6.1-inch HD large screen, but Huawei used the Qualcomm Snapdragon chip this time. Interestingly, Huawei didn't use Mate 3, 4, 5, and 6 as the name of its next device in 2015. Instead, they called it the Ascend Mate 7, the world's first feature of the said phone, the touch fingerprint sensor. This is a feature that we've seen on a lot of phones after it. That is an innovation. Oh, by the way, it is also using a large 6-inch screen with FHD 1920x1080 resolution and the in-house high silicon Kirin 925 chipset. After the Mate 7, Huawei released the Mate 9. The Huawei Mate 9 is one of the most exciting high-end phones we tested in 2017, boasting a well-machined unibody design and strong overall specs during its time. The device features a 5.8-inch FHD screen, Kirin 960 SoC, 4GB of RAM, 64GB expandable storage, 4000mAh large battery, 20MP monochrome camera, plus a 12MP RGB sensor. It also has a fingerprint reader at the back and is the world's first smartphone with a 22.5 watt supercharged tech that can charge the phone to around 58% in just 30 minutes. Next is the Mate 10 series, the Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro. These devices are the first in the world with an AI camera system that helps its camera hardware with image recognition to automatically optimize images depending on the situation or surroundings. It knows if your subject is a dog, a baby, scenery, food, and more. It is also the first in the world with a Tuvray Lens Safety Certified Supercharge. Of course, the rest of the world followed. These devices also have an easy projection and the MUI desktop mode as well as knuckle screenshots. The phones are also equipped with crisp large displays, powerful cameras, and the speedy Kirin 970 chip. Huawei also partnered with Porsche Design and released the Mate RS. These started the trend of mobile brands teaming up with high-end car brands to release ultra-premium smartphones. It is also the very first with dual fingerprint design which includes a rear fingerprint scanner and a new gen in-display fingerprint reader allowing its users to unlock the device at the back or in front, whatever is convenient for them. The handset is also one of the first with a triple camera setup with up to 5x hybrid zoom and 960fps slow motion videos. Next is the Mate 20 series. I personally use these phones and even made one of them, the Mate 20 Pro, my main phone for more than a year. These devices highlight the beautiful metal glass construction, large cameras, the first 7nm SoC called Kirin 980, the first 40 watts fast charging, the fastest at that time, and the first 15 watts wireless fast charging on a mobile phone. The Mate 20 series also features the Huawei Super Cool multi dimensional liquid cooling system with vapor chamber and graphene film. At the same time, it is using one of the most powerful 40 megapixel cameras around with advanced advanced AI capabilities. It is also the first with up to 2.5cm super macro mode for extremely close-up shots even if you don't attach a separate macro lens. Plus, with the help of AI, you can even use its cameras for counting calories of the food that you are about to eat. 
This is also the first line of Huawei smartphones featuring the Huawei Share One Hub that allows its users to instantly transfer photos, videos, documents, and other files from the device to the Huawei laptop. Personally, the Mate 20 Pro is the phone that I use as my main camera on my memorable trips last 2020. A year after, Huawei improves upon the success of the Mate 20 series and release the Mate 30 series. These phones are the first in the world to feature a 5G-ready SoC, the 7 nanometer Kirin 995 g This stack allowed us to enjoy super-fast 5G mobile internet speeds for downloads, playing games, watching Netflix, and other tasks on the go in supported locations. The Mate 30 series also repopularized the use of vegan leather at the back for an elegant feel and further improved its cameras by using the Huawei Super Sensing Cine camera with a 1 over 1.54 inch large sensor. This image sensor allowed the Mate 30 Pro to take some of the very best photos regardless of lighting conditions on a phone. Even near pitch black conditions, it can take viewable images thanks to its ISO 409600. For slow motions, Huawei up the ante and increase it to 7680 FPS at 720p. Its Pro version even has a stunning horizon display with an 88 degree waterfall. The size of this display could even be used as a volume rocker by double tapping it. Moreover, this device has plenty of charging innovations like the fastest wireless charging on a mobile phone at 27 watts, the fastest wireless reverse charging, and the world's first Tav Ryland safety certified supercharge. Next is the Mate 40 Pro series. These phones are clearly better than the Mate 30 series featuring a refined build, more powerful specs, and improved cameras. It is the first phone featuring a more efficient and capable 5 nanometer SoC, the Kirin 9000, and it is the first with eyes on display dynamic display technology. Huawei also ensured that the phone is designed to last. The company noted that they did something to ensure that the phone can be used up to 36 months without any hiccups or just a 2.5% in output decline. Now, we are finally with the Mate 50 Pro. This handset is honestly one of the most exciting high-end releases we've seen this year. In fact, it is one of the most innovative and most refined today. As a result, the new Mate surpassed 2.45 million reservations in China the moment it was announced. During its first sale in September, it sold out within just 10 seconds. Starting with its build, the Mate 50 Pro has a vegan leather version boasting the Kundun glass to protect its back and front from breaking. The global tech giant claimed that this glass has 10 times better drop resistance versus the regular glass of its black and silver version. We drop it a few times at home and even use it to crush some garlic and nuts and it still looks like new. According to the company, Kundun Glass helps the phone withstand up to 32 kilograms of pressure. Huawei made this possible after 4 years of research. It uses nanocrystals using a 24-hour high-temperature nanocrystal growth, 108-step microcrystalline matrix material processing, and 1,600 degrees Celsius platinum smelting technology. In total, it uses 10 quadrillion level nanocrystals to significantly increase the toughness of the glass. As a result, it is the first smartphone to ever receive the SGS 5-star certification for glass drop protection. Next are the cameras, and Huawei has a new imaging tech. The Xmage. Xmage is the company's exclusive brand for mobile imaging to improve camera technological innovation, shooting experience, and imaging culture. As a result, the Mate 50 Pro still broke records and topped the camera ranking of the iPhones, Samsungs, and others of the world. And I agree with them. The company achieved this by using the innovative 50MP RYYB Ultra Aperture Camera with f1.4 to f4.0 physical aperture. F1.4 is the highest and brightest on phones today, allowing it to take highly detailed images in nearly all lighting conditions. 
This also has face focus plus contrast focus, OIS, and the help of AI to ensure it takes images quickly with natural looking colors and crisp overall details as well as aperture blades with 10 scale adjustable physical aperture that adjusts automatically to the scenario. The result is it can take shots with legit background blur or bokeh unlike most phones that use software tricks. So, the bokeh will look very clean with very nice subject to background separation even if you pixel peep. The other cameras of the device are the 13MP f2.2 ultra-wide angle camera with AF and a 64 megapixels f.3.5 telephoto camera that allows the phone to enjoy a maximum zoom range up to 200 times coming from the ultra-wide camera. It is also one of the few with a usable macro mode for super close-up shots. And of course, it takes amazing images even in the dark, the best I've seen on a phone so far. Even the selfie camera is amazing and works well in different lighting conditions. It uses a 13 megapixel f2.4 ultra-wide angle camera that can go from 1 times to 0.8 times and wide depending on what focal point you need. Huawei is also touting this as a great vlogging phone which can record high quality snaps at 4K using either the back or or front camera configuration. Its output is generally smooth and the stabilization is quite effective even in dimmer situations. Apart from the cameras, Huawei ensured that the Mate 50 Pro has an advanced and flagship level experience all over. It is using a 6.74 inch 3D curved OLED screen with a 120Hz refresh rate and 2616 by 1212 resolution, a very fast 3.19GHz 4nm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 4G processor, 4000mAh all-day battery with USB-C 66W supercharge and 50W wireless supercharge support. The device is also equipped with some of the loudest and fullest sounding stereo speaker configurations we've tried. The Wi-Fi 6 connection is generally strong, its Bluetooth has up to LDAC for lossless audio support, and it has an IP68 water resistance rating. The tech giant also improved its software experience. Now with EMUI 13, it now has more Harmony OS features, making it easier to use. It uses AI to enable super hold for rapid app launching, nimble operations, and seamless web browsing, and super render to play longer and more stable high frame rates using pixel level interframe prediction technology that slashes body temperature and power consumption of the device. The device also has the new super storage technology that cleverly finds duplicate files and stack compresses lesser use apps and eliminate unnecessary redownloads. Huawei claims that this tech can help clear up to 20 gigabytes of storage. This will allow its users to use those extra spaces for other files, apps, and more. Similar to all the mates we tried in the past, the Huawei Mate 50 Pro delivered some of the most exciting innovations we've seen on a smartphone. It is one of the most attractive phones we tested this year and it made us enjoy its use of a durable yet attractive looking body, the powerful x aperture cameras, the strong hardware, and the software tricks that Huawei implemented to make the lives of its users easier. Despite its few weak points, it is a worthy 10th gen successor of its storied Mate series. Anyway, in the Philippines, the Mate 50 Pro is available in two variants. The regular glass model with 256 gigs of storage is priced at 58,999 pesos, while the version with vegan leather, kunlun glass, and 512 gig storage retails for 68,999 pesos. Again, this is Peter of Gizguide.com. For more videos like this, like and subscribe to our channel. Stay safe always and goodbye!